Welcome back everyone. 705 is the time. Bringing back the dead could save our lives. Colossal Biosciences, a de-extinction company with ties to here in Austin, is hoping to do just that. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen takes a closer look how one of extinct species could slow climate change. Oh, we play God with the environment every single day. Around the world, species are getting wiped out. Human beings are the sixth great mass extinction event. We have accelerated the rate of extinction a million fold. It's something Forrest Galante has been tracking for years. The scientist has made a career out of finding animals on the verge of extinction. If we can just slow down that extinction event by putting animals back in and by repairing the ecosystem, then at least we're helping and we're not creating as big of an impact. Galante serves as a conservation advisor for a company doing just that, Colossal Biosciences. In the case of the dodo, it puts back something at the top of the food chain. That's right, the dodo bird. What's so great about the dodo is it has become an iconic face of, of extinction, really. A giant, flightless, friendly pigeon. It had no natural predators on the island of Mauritius, where it was endemic to. A small island off the coast of East Africa. When sailors arrived there, truly out of sheer boredom, they would walk around the island and bop them on the head because there was nothing else to do on the island. By 1692, the bird was declared extinct, joining the woolly mammoth and the Tasmanian tiger, all of which Colossal is hoping to bring back. Those are all incredibly important species for the ecosystem but they're also splashy, big topical ones. According to Galante, bringing the species back isn't just because we can. You're bringing back a creature, an individual, and a group of them that will most importantly repair a damaged ecosystem. The species won't be released into the wild. They'll be kept in wildlife reserves around the world. We're not creating a, a de-extinction petting zoo. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. And according to the company, they expect the dodo bird to be de-extinct within the decade, while the woolly mammoth should be brought back within the next couple of years.